What up, everybody? We are the Arcade Tokens. I'm Patrick Cloud. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I am the Anomaly Will Ferro. This is another episode of Token Reacts. This is a this is a dope one. This is something that Kadeem has found. Uh, somebody by the name of Henrico Magnifico uh, did a full 3D HD revamp of my favorite game of all time, Zelda: Ocarina of Time. And uh, I, I guess this is the tr this is the trailer for it, or is this actual gameplay? Uh, tr trailer slash gameplay. So it's just gonna show what it looks like now in certain areas and everything. You'll be able to just see the game of how better it looks, because of course he's using the the Ocarina of Time 3D came out on the 3DS, mm -hmm. so it's already a little bit better graphics. But now obviously he's taking it to the next level, bringing it over to a computer and revamping it even more. It's a 4K. So 4K. Here you go. Now we've seen a lot of like you know revamps through Unreal Engine online. You know they they revamped uh, Kokiro Village or I forget, I never knew how to say that Ko Kakariko Village or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Kokiro or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, forest. Um, these are all stuff that you never really had to say out loud out loud back in the day. You were just reading these things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is fully playable. You can download it. Is it free? Uh, yes, it is free. It is free. Uh, I mean, it's literally just a package, uh, mod package that he set up. So, Pat, when's the last time you played uh, Ocarina of Time? Um, that's that's a good question. Probably, probably this year, just because when I moved, we uh, switched our sixty four. But like, seriously, not for years. So, yeah. really, I always Same. remember the graphics. But um, I, I did play it a little bit this year, but not like all the way through in a few years. For sure, I picked I picked it up uh, a couple months ago, and uh, I think I was at I think the Fire Temple, and I, I got a, I got I tried to do what I thought I could do, and I'm like, good lord, we this we've come a long way in gaming, bro. Right, right, right. right. I'm excited sure. to see what this looks like. All right, let's uh let's check it out. All right, let's get into it then. All right. Oh, okay. It's been a minute since I saw the 3D version, so I'm like, I'm, I'm going from the 64 version. The 3D one looks pretty good. Wow. Wow, look at the details in the wood. Yeah, nice clean up. Okay, this is the 64 original. Now the HD. Over 3,000 edited textures. If you are anywhere behind the scenes as an engineer, that is a lot. And 300. They say 300 or 3,000? 300. Oh, okay. Even still. Even still. Oh, man. The textures make all the difference in the world. Oh, look at the gauntlets. Yo, I never even knew that face was like, literally could look like that. Wow. This is so dope. Get to it. Boom. All right. And then he's also got Maybe the- A little game. crispier. 4K. So just as, as I know, I believe both of y'all have played Ocarina of Time before, correct? Yeah. Yeah. But just just from some of these scenes that you're seeing being recreated, like how does this make you feel from just like a nostalgia point? It's crazy to me because I never really even saw the 3D version like that. I'm only I'm fully remembering the 64 graphics, uh, and it's it's dope it, it's literally all it takes to make you want to play it through again there's nothing different about the game uh the game itself but the fact that it just looks better is a whole new reason to just play it oh this is the the boss yeah, of uh, the deku tree this game for sure is, is what helps solidify the nintendo 64 um for for storyline based games like I, I don't know how long it took me and Kadeem to beat that game, but it was not in one year. It wasn't in one month. It took us some time. And I, it still stays with me, bro. The entire storyline, having that final battle with Ganon, it's, it's a hell of a game, bro. So I'm excited to see it. And as you see, there's so many people around the world who are just genuine fans of it that they would take the time out of their own lives to be like, yo, I'm getting paid for this. But I'm going to remod the game to make it look better to help give a better experience to all the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time fans out there. So... I'm in for this. That's so dope that people do that, you know, just for the for the people. So um, huge shout out to what was it? Henrico Magnifico. Yeah. Uh, 
Yes, sir. This is this is dope. This is you. You did the world a service that uh, Nintendo has yet to do. So uh, <laughs> come on the show, bro. We want to talk to you. Come to the arcade tokens. We want to talk to you about this. Right. So how does one hack this to get it on a switch or something? <laughs> right. Um. Don't say that. Don't, hey, don't, don't don't reveal that on here. Let's. Yeah, yeah. Let's offline, as they say. We'll offline that. We'll offline. <laughs> As of right now, they they expect you to download it and play it on PC or what? Is that the yes? Okay. Yeah, that's that's the plan. You play it on PC uh, through emulators, um, a three a three DS emulator. Obviously, it's it's a three D uh, version of it. So, but at that point, you can add textures on top of it to make it look better. Uh, replace textures with other ones and stuff like that. So the updated version of it. And obviously, computer is way stronger than a three DS, so it's able to handle it. You know, so that's kind of how that works. I want us to really dive into this world because I would love for like developers, like you said, a lot of people have love for this stuff. I would love to see like a version of us being a react. Like imagine watching this Ocarina of of time, but it's a small pack running around, emulated inside, or like we're playing Castlevania and it looks like Cleo. So like even like one of the the uh monologues pop up you just see the six the 32 bit cleo just slick hey. in the fold right here and he's just talking to uh dracula and stuff like that like they're able to do dope things like that please anybody who yeah. knows how to mod and wants to uh, wants to work on the team hit us up because that would be sick i would love to see that yeah it's in the cra- crazy part of it is i mean this stuff obviously he's spent a lot of time to go through all of the whole game but i'm gonna let you know i've, I've done a little little digging myself not as crazy as people might think these these emulators are very very smart these programs are very smart to pull this stuff off so shout out to the dude enrico magnifico to get this done uh but yeah the creation yeah, uh, part is what's tedious so like creating yes. the new textures and stuff like that that's what's tedious so like if you want like grass to blow that's the like tedious part that you have to get, but like putting it after it's in the emulator and stuff like that. The emulator is literally just running it, and the more clear you make it in the code, the easier it is for it. Yep. So there we go. Oh, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Token Reacts. Glad that y'all got to check out this updated ocarina of time 4k let us know what you think in the comments below as always subscribe to the rk tokens twitch and youtube our personal twitches as well will pharaoh patrick cloud cleo thomas and of course cathadius and as always we are the arcade token shout out to cathadius as well i am the anomaly will pharaoh leo thomas aka mr slick living i'm patrick cloud and we will catch you next time